All right, that team has been assembled over on the other side now. That's strange. Okay, let's get to work. Clear the way over because they'll probably want to get their quest as well. Strange that it would start us on this side. When all the quests are over there, pretty strange. Got some nice iron bar protectors over there. Let's get that big fella. Bring it over here so they can get all collect their quests. Some big time XP for them. So there's several of these iron bark protectors. One over there. Interestingly, this place was actually, and I don't know if it's still the case, but where um, somebody would get their mount. I think it was Warlocks. Could be Paladins as well. <laughs> All I remember is that my mount is going to, uh, was it uh, Scholar Mounts? Scholomance or Strathome? One of the two. Strathome. Scholomance. Scholo. Scholo Strathome. Scholomance. I think it's Scholomance. Guy two. Together. How many of these protectors always seems to be a mystery. I'm sure there's an actual number, but I've never bothered to keep track. Gotta get this guy as well. These guys are tearing off. The quest said to get these things. Get these protectors first. Hopefully that's all of them, and that's don't think any of them any others could sneak by a bit. Honestly, you never know. The amount of times that I thought to myself, yeah, finally got them all, and then you just see one like running like walking around, just over here. <laughs> Happened all the time. Yes, true, it's alright, I've done this many times. Oh, we got the same, I think we got the same uh, hunter that was with me before. Probably doing, doing it in order. Magister Calendris. Void Tendrils.
Calandras. Kill him. Mind tap talisman. Straight versatility. I can get on board with that. Don't want to lose my cannon though. I'll take that. I'll take that. with a data. Highborn. That's all that remains. They're reanimated by what? I am honored. God is watching. Our meeting is no coincidence, Artraxius. The, the madness within this madness must come to an end. The age of the immortals has long since passed. Destroy the guardians surrounding the five pylons to the lower to lower the false field. When this is done, destroy Imulthar. With the prince's power greatly reduced from the demon's demise, attack and end him as well. Lay the spirit of this city to rest, adventurer, and make the prince pay for his wrongdoings. All right, so we've already destroyed two of them. So there's another one over here, which will make a three. Boss over there, there is two. Three. Iliana, the Raven, the Raven Oak, our objective. Sitting on the trap. Now she's dead. enemies down here. Oh. All right, big fella. Tendrous Warpwood. Let's dance.
Do you do not belong here? Ancients, come to my aid! Or something like that. But we should have taken care of all of them. Now, if you don't and you just rush in there, then you'll just see them all of them coming in. <laughs> I've seen groups just like, you know, doing this, this dungeon like this. In retail. Getting demolished because of it. Because they just rush ahead and forget about it. Petrified bark, sure. Ooh. Petrified, sure. Let's throw that on. Prison of Imulthar. So we've got those two crystals over there. Then we gotta sort out before we can get into this. There's another passage over there. Doesn't even know what's going on. Completely missing the party. Now that side's done. Residual monstrosity. They all drop. You should lower the shield. There it goes. The demon is loose quickly. I want someone is rushing in and dying in an instant. Immortal Thar with a billion, billion eyes. Down you go. What was that? Who dares disrupt the sanctity of Elder Thalas? Face me, cowards, Prince Torfuldrin. Z 
zealots. Prince, can we get some? Prince has got an interesting way of fighting. Two double-ended daggers. Ow! And you are done. Prince Torthadran defeated. As a bonus objective. Oh wait, you gotta open this first maybe? Why didn't that complete? Weird, why don't we get the bonus objective? Strange, but I'll consider it complete. Look at this thing. Has the prince recounted the tale of the Ashbringer? It is our most favorite of his stories. His favorite is the follow-up to the Ashbringer, of course. Nobody has ever been able to get that story out of him. Goodbye. Go in peace. I want to talk about the Ashburn. What's this? Skeletal remains of Telimias, the Dream Seeker. A cursory examination of the skeletal remains indicate that the flesh was seared off quite a grisly sight. Greetings. What you must understand is that being able to index 10,000 years of existence has given me a rather unique perspective on life. Your present day trials and tribulations are meaningless. May the stars guide you. Javon. I am listening. Denadris. Well, we got all the teens. The lawkeeper is an ancient. He served under our glorious queen. Queen. Denadris. Kildrath tends to over-dramatize the situation. For example, Garona, a study on stealth and treachery, has been stolen over 400 times. The mark on the Athenium protects the tomes, preventing any unauthorized viewings. May the stars guide you. Can I assist you? How may I help? I suspect the imps are stealing knowledge. Keep your voice down, stranger. You do not want to disrupt the master's meditations. Illum. What brings you here? They've been stolen, human. Three of our most prized volumes. Should you return the tomes, the reward will most certainly be yours. May the stars guide you. What now? Can't you see I'm rather busy? See so, next okay, interesting. The moon be with you. Mooncloth robe from this guy. The moon light your path. Goddess, watch over you. The master holds great interest in the lair of Nafarian. If only someone could defeat the dragon and his minions and retell the tale to the prince, I bet that would loosen the prince's lips. The Ashbringer could be found. Farewell. Ah. Uh, you know, I don't know all the history about the Ashbringer. Why? Why do they refer to the Ashbringer? Did they forge it? Is the weapon so ancient? And it's gone through many hands? What is this place? There's a lot of questions here. Let me read the dungeon journal about the prince. After the well of eternity's destruction, Prince Torth Eldrin maintained control over the surviving Shen Dralar by imprisoning a demon in the ruins of Eldrathalas and letting his subjects siphon its strength. The exposure to demonic power twisted Torth Eldrin's mind, and when the creature faltered, the prince ordered the death of many of his vassals, so only he and his most fanatical followers would be left. 
to enjoy the corrupt energy. So they're all corrupt. But they're just listening to Torthaldrin. They don't seem to care that he's dead. They don't know either. They're too, like, infused here. They're all so caught up in trying to catalog everything and do their library up. But yeah, the Ashbringer thing is kind of interesting. I gotta look that up. What is it? Where? I mean, I've never really thought about it too much. It's just some heroes have had it, and it's a great weapon, and I love the way it looks. And I uh, just figured they fig they they are the ones that made it. <laughs> but maybe it's much older. Much older than I think. And have thought. Now, where does this especially long passage take us? That's a portal. No? Thought I saw some shimmering there. There's a door over here, but it can't click on it. I saw a mage. It's a mage there. Because it can't. Yeah, look. Mage Lord. I can't click on it. Okay, so let's get out of here. We teleport out, and then I teleport back in. That should be me, put me right back at the instance. At the start of the instance. So for those of you wanting to know how to get back fairly quickly, to the start, if you've got a whole bunch of quests to hand in, teleport out and in is a good way of doing it, provided people are still in your group. Your work here was noble, fret not, for Tendris' soul was crying out to be put to rest. He is thankful. Oh, there's also this quest to hand in too. Peace be with you. Your dedication will make this all that much easier. Good luck, friend. Go in peace. Okay, cool. Farewell. So now we're just going on run over here for the madness within oh there we go ancient equine spirit can't remember I can't remember if that's related to my epic horse or not in classic I feel like that's for warlocks but I know Warlocks have got two things to do in here. There's this and then that, uh, then over at the Demon. But I definitely remember coming in here with a Warlock. So maybe this is their mount, but could just as easily be part of the Paladin quest. <laughs> I can't remember. Did it a while ago. But yeah, I remember more Skolomance, that area. Having to do something there. Because that event took a while to do. Wasn't so simple. But now that it, it's all being cleared, it's in interesting to walk around here. I would love to see Diamore. Oh, there's a chest over here. I would love to see Diamore as it once was. And if it has a different name at that point, I suppose. Mithril. The Ring of the Heavens? Where did you go, Ring of the Heavens? 32 Stam and Versatility. Elun be with you. Ah, oh, all the spirits are here. Peace be with you. What happened here, spirit? Do you know of the Highborn, the Shen Drala? I know very little of the Highborn and nothing of the Shen Drala. The Shen Drala were Queen Ashara's most revered Arcanists. It was within these very walls that the Queen's most important demands were processed, often in secret. After the destruction of the well and the subsequent lethargy that overcame the Highborn and lesser Night Elf sects, the Prince of Eldrathalas 
Tor Theldrin began construction of the pylons that you see littering the halls of the West Wing. The prince plotted to imprison a demon of immense power behind a ground force field. The pylons would channel latent energies into the field, keeping it operational. While imprisoned, Imolthar would serve as a battery to the populace of Eldrathalas. Fascinating. Continue, please. The siphoned energies would sustain the Highborn's magic, allowing those within the walls of Eldrathalas to feed their endless and growing magical pangs. Thousands of years passed, and the power required to keep Omolthar in prison while sustaining life within Eldrathalas began to shift. The cost to keep Imolthar bound grew to overshadow the rate at which energy could be siphoned and distributed. The once net gain turned to loss. I'm going to have to kill something, aren't I? The highborn ghosts, as you see wandering throughout the courtyard and halls of Eldrathalas, were slain, not by invading Gordok ogres or satyrs, but by the prince himself. We live in a world of endless tragedy. The prince, the people were destroyed in order to preserve the prince's immortal life and near limitless powers. The power once divided among thousands now funnels into the prince and the Shendrala zealots. Those few remaining survivors are directly feeding power into the pylons in order to keep Imolthar imprisoned. Should the demon break free of its bonds, it would surely destroy what little is left of this great, once great bastion of Arcana. A very sad tale. Thank you, spirit. Well, there you go. Goddess, bless you. We thank you, hero. May the stars guide you. The treasure of Chandrala. Go in peace. In the library, Athene Athenium, you will find an ancient chest hidden beneath the stairway. Take from it what you desire. Grim cigar cutter. What? <laughs> I'll take it. All right, so I gotta go. Mm. I had to go for a trot back there. Yeah, so under that ramp that we walked down or jumped off. Jumped off to the side there, there was a chest. And I don't remember if it was linked to a quest in Classic. I thought you could just go and open it. I guess the case here is that you have to. Thankfully, we've cleared everything, so it's just a quick of, bit of a walk. Bit of a hike. It's interesting, though. I always thought, you know, after you clear out an area, you should be able to mount up after a dungeon is complete. I mean, the place is certainly wide enough to be able to summon things. Right? Summon a mountain. What's this one got to say? Greetings. No. Go in peace. Talking about the uh the Ashbringer again. Here's the chest. You open the chest to find Grim Cigar Cutter. Alright, let's leave this. Teleport us out of here. And then we've got one more left. Whoops, that doesn't fly. This is the final wing. And there is a quest. Druid of the Talon. Oh, what did you say? How did you manage to get here on foot alive? You must be quite the hero to brave Diamol. Eyes in the sky, speak softly, Artraxius. The Gordok may not be intelligent, but there are still dangerous warriors. King of the Gordok. In Gordok society, their king is simply their strongest warrior. If anyone, ogre or otherwise, kills the current king, they are automatically hailed as the new one. The new king receives tribute from any living guards, Stomper Krieg and Captain Crom Crush. Find and kill King Gordok while killing as few of their other leaders as possible. And not only will your reward be great, you will be able to use your power as king 
to halt the Gordok invasion without conflict? Kill King Gorok? <laughs> 